Hello, I'm Rogers Redding, College Football Officiating's National Coordinator and Secretary Rules Editor for NCAA Football. The CFO has put together this video of several plays involving targeting and crown of the helmet action given in Rules 913 and 914. We want officials, coaches, players, and the media to have a clearer understanding of what is a foul and what is allowed in these actions. The hope is that by having everyone see the same videos and receive the same interpretations, we can make progress toward removing these dangerous fouls from the game. It is difficult to overemphasize the importance of the safety of the student athlete, and it is out of that concern that we present this video. Play number one is a foul. You'll see the defender launch, lead with the crown of his helmet, hit the receiver in the head with the crown of his helmet, the receiver is clearly defenseless. This is targeting. This is a foul. He's coming over the top. Floyd extending for the football. Oh. His head is clearly lowered, and he launches into the face mask of Michael Floyd. You can't have any other conclusion. Play number two is a foul. It is a flagrant foul, and the, the player committing the foul is appropriately disqualified from the game. The punt receiver is clearly defenseless, and the kicking team player times it so that he arrives at the receiver about the same time the ball does. He leads with his headgear. This is clearly targeting. This is a foul, and it is appropriate that the uh, player was ejected from the game. Referees, I would point out that while this can be considered kick-catch interference, it is also a targeting foul, and therefore the penalty could be enforced from the end of the run. Play number three is a foul. The defender launches, targets the receiver in the head and neck area. There's no attempt here to play the football. This is clearly a foul, clearly targeting, appropriately called as a foul. There is a serious collision. That's going to be a penalty. Helmet. I mean, not even an effort to make a tackle. He just went up high. That's dangerous territory. He's a big strike player, but you just can't have. Play number four is not a foul. This action is legal. The ball carrier is not defenseless. The defender does not target with the crown of the helmet, even though there is contact between the two helmets. But this is a legal play. Well, on the ball carrier, I don't know. Can you call an illegal hit on the ball carrier? I, you know, I. Yeah, Donald Scott comes in. Play number five is legal. This is not a foul. The ball carrier is not defenseless. The defender does not target. He does not lead with the crown of the helmet. This is legal action. Play number six is a foul. The receiver is clearly defenseless. The defender comes in, lowers his head, leads with the crown of his helmet, targets, strikes the, the defenseless player with the crown of the helmet. This is a foul. Just look and listen. Wow. That was a good... Play number seven is a foul. This is an example of targeting when the helmet is not involved. The defender launches, strikes the receiver in the head neck area. This is a targeting foul, even though there is no helmet involved. The player is clearly defenseless. This is good work to get this foul. Foul on Scott Johnson, and they've made it a point of emphasis this year. He has launched himself right you launch, If you launch yourself like that, they're going to they're gonna call you now. Play number eight is a foul. In real time, this action looks okay, and it is understandable that this was not called. But you can see that the defender 
lowers his head, leads with the crown of his helmet, strikes the defenseless player, the quarterback in this case, at the head and neck area, uh, dislodges his helmet, this is a foul. Play number nine is not a foul. This is legal. The defender uh, does not lead with the crown of his helmet. He does not target. He does not launch. He comes in with his shoulder to the chest area. The player is defenseless, all right, but this is not targeting, not leading with the crown of his helmet, not striking in the head and neck area. This is legal. Play number 10 is a foul. This is a prototype of a player launching, targeting, attacking the receiver in the head and neck area. This should have been a foul. Should also have been a disqualification from the game. This action against the quarterback in play number 11 should have been a foul. The defender targets the quarterback lowers his head, leads with the crown of his helmet. The quarterback is clearly defenseless. This should have been called as a foul. Lower the helmet here and catch him right in the chest. Oh, oh for us guys, it did lower his. This action in play number 12 is not a foul. This is legal. The defender leads with his shoulder, catches the ball carrier in the midsection, does not target, does not lead with the crown of the helmet. The uh, ball carrier is defenseless all right, but this is legal action as it is not targeting, not leading with the crown of the helmet, not attacking the head and neck area. Good football play. Play number 13 is not a foul. This is legal. It's a vicious looking play. It's understandable why it was called a foul. But you can see that the defender leads with his shoulder. He does not launch to the head or neck area. He does not attack the head or neck area. This is a legal play. Play number 14 is a foul. The offensive player is defenseless. The defender comes in, lowers his head, targets the head or neck area, strikes the defenseless player in the head or neck area. This was correctly called a foul. You see him lower the head. You, know, you always hear defensive coaches talking about see what you hit, keeping your head up, and that's it's how it looked like. The action in play number 15 is legal. This is not a foul. This is a defenseless player, all right, but the defender comes in, leads with his shoulder to the chest area, no targeting with the crown of the helmet. This is just a good legal football play. Feel this hit. Watch this. Boom! Oh, mama! Play number 16, the officials do a good job in calling this a foul. The defender comes in, lowers his head, leads with the crown of his helmet, targets the runner just as he is going to the ground. This is clearly a foul. Good call. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Well, that, is a, that is a violent hit. Number 17 is a foul. This is an example of action away from the ball. This player gets blindsided by a member of the receiving team who comes in, launches, targets, strikes with the shoulder and arms to the head and neck area. This is a foul.
Number 18 is not a foul. This is a legal play. This is a classic example of how a player can make a tackle in a very legal manner. He does not lead with his helmet. He does not target the head or neck area. His strike zone is around the, the waist and chest area. This is a perfectly legal play and just good hard football.